Hey guys, I wanted to get you going on particle systems here. Um, these are kind of the first steps on integrating them into your scenes. And this is all stock within Unity. You don't need any third party applications or 3D software to do this. So you can just start creating this uh, right inside Unity. So I wanted to show you a first uh, couple scenes that I created and uh, show you kind of a good way to use particle systems in your scene and how to link them up in the clack patcher to your OPZ. Um, so I'll show you a few examples of that. Uh, this first example is Synthbike where we have kind of a streaming system that is kind of creating motion a for like a, a forward velocity. Now if you look in the scene view you can see this is all coming it's all emitting uh, in a box shape over here. And if you look on the left here, the systems I have installed here, uh, there's there's a few different particles. So uh, the shapes I have, I have a medium sized capsule shape, small size, and then I broke up the large sizes in different colors. And this is to get really specific colors. You can use maybe one system to break up these size and shapes, but um, I found I got the most control over creating these kind of systems. So I'll show you how to make that really quickly. And let's go to another scene over here. So this guy right here, created the, the steam coming out of the nose. So this is more of a trigger system where it's like an on and off trigger or particle system. And I'll show you how I did that. Um, these are all using mesh particles and an unlit shader. So let's get started making some of these things. So here's a particle system I had over there in Synthbike. Here's one example of it. So let's start making this thing from scratch. So you want to go over to Effects, add a particle system. And the default it kind of comes off in these sprite type shapes here. And we want to change this to a mesh particle. So the way you do that, you can create a 3D object here, a capsule. And once you do that, it'll create a mesh that you can drag over here. Let's go back to our folder here. Okay, so I've already made these particles over here. Uh, these particle materials here. So I'm gonna go create, let's make a new one. Create and let's do um, particle unlit. So once we create this guy, we go to the pull down here. Under particles, you can see a standard unlit. And what this means is it's not going to take any lighting information. And you can pick your color palette right here. So let's pick like a like a purple. All right. So go down to our render and choose mesh. And we can drag our material right in there. And stuck on cube right now, we want that capsule. So you want to right by the mesh, you want to click on this little dot here. That'll open up everything you have in your scene. So let's type in capsule. All right, I have a ton of them in here. All right, so it looks like it's emitting these guys right now. Let's change the color of that. Let's go some like. Maybe something like that. All right, so got our capsule going. It's emitting up. Let's look what we have going on here. So let's just have it go to uh, 
let's do three seconds. Here, you have a type in three seconds there. So this is the length of time it's gonna be emitting. And we wanna change, I'm gonna change this to a box shape. So we want it to, see how it's a cone right now? We also wanna change the direction it's facing. Uh, let's change this to box. And with this box shape, you can pull these handles out. And now it's emitting straight up. So we want our capsule to face in the direction of where it's emitting. So under render, instead of render alignment to view, we want that to be world. And see how it's kind of, we want it to go in that same direction. We don't want it to be flat like this. So we want to spin each particle. So we want to go to 3D star rotation. And make this 90 and X. All right, so now they're kind of facing that direction. And then we want to take this whole box and rotate it this way. Now we have to flip our particles again. Let's make this minus 180. And then we'll flip these guys once more. Let's turn that to zero. And then I think it says Z. Is Y? There we go. All right, 90 and Y. All right, so they're going that direction. This is great. You have a good start here. Let's turn this guy off. So we're just looking at this other particle system. All right, maybe we want this a little faster. See if we can. Change of speed here. Art speed, let's go maybe 10. And you see how they're popping on and off? Uh, we want them to scale on and off uh, just a little bit so they don't pop. Um, that attribute is right over here size over lifetime. And the way you check these things on and off are these little boxes over here. They don't look like a checkbox, but they are, so to activate them, just hit that box. Um, we want to change it over lifetime. So here's the lifetime curve here. And add a key. What this, what this is, this is the curve over lifetime. So right when it spawns, it's gonna scale up really quickly. And then when it dies, we want it to scale down. Nothing. So, zero and zero. All right, and you can see that here where it's kind of scaling up instead of popping on and off. All right, uh, let's say we want to change the color a little bit. So check on this guy and then over here you can choose random between two gradients and um, let's say you just want a lighter and darker color let's just so this first box is going to be the, the minimum so let's keep that white and then for the maximum let's do 50% maybe a little bit less Right, so you can see how some of them are lighter and darker. This is a great way to add variation. And I think that's that's a pretty good start. And if you want to add any turbulence, you can do this. This is kind of it's pretty funky. So you can do like you can do a little bit of noise. So what it's doing is traveling through a kind of a fractal right now and it's creating noise 
So you can see them kind of shift up and down. So that's up to you if you want that. That's a neat attribute to have. Um, there are a lot of other things. You can add trails, um, sub emitters, um, rotation. So I encourage you to, to mess with these, but I just wanted to show you this to get started here. All right, so let's say we want to do, we want to trigger this thing um, with the OPZ. So I have my OPZ here. And what we're going to do is link it up. So if you look at this guideline, we're going to trigger it with a note number. And let's trigger it with note number 64. And let's start our patch like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to increase the density of this. So that's over in the emission. So instead of 10, we're going to do 50. And let's see, we're going to shrink this down a little bit. Let's change it into a cone, actually. And then let's shrink our cone all the way down. something like that all right and let's get our camera aligned here okay all right let's start making a patch uh, go under clack patch open patcher all right inside the Input, you want a MIDI note input. All right. Sometimes a patcher gets buggy, buggy like that, but. All right, so uh, let's go change this guy to the motion track, track 16. Note filter, we want this a note number. And then, like I said before, we're going to change this to 64. So that's this guy right here. Six four six four. All right, and now we want to add a float filter. Float filter on our input and our off value. So we want, what we want to do is turn, we want these guys to be turned off. So we're going to disable and we want the patch system to turn it on for us. So how are we going to do that? We're going to add another event here, drag this particle system in here. And then as a game object, we're going to set active and we're going to turn that on. So when this note is hit, it's going to turn this on. And then we want this guy to trigger our particle system here. So click the little plus button, drag our particle system in here. And you want this guy to play. All right. So note on, this is going to play. Plus right here, drag the particle system in here. And then it's going to stop. So note on, play, note off, stop. And let's see if that works. All right, so we're going to hit play. All right. So whenever I hit the button, it's triggering those particles. So that's how you make a really nice little trigger system with clack. Uh, there's more you can do. I encourage you to explore a lot more, but um, this is just a really basic. You can take this pretty far and make a ton of different types of particles using this little method. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to do these little bits every week or so. So just stay tuned for the next one. Um, definitely want to do a clock nodes or clock patch one pretty soon. Um, 
But other than that, the music is by Bolt. He's been good enough to let us borrow music for the tutorial, so thanks, thanks for that. Um, also, head over to the Discord if you want any more additional information or you get stuck on this stuff. So, all right, talk to you guys later. Bye.